Hello and welcome to my video. This is a quick test to see if my turbine can start from 0 RPM with a switching flux alternator attached directly to the shaft, no gearbox, no load, field coils not energized. Before investing more time making a power supply control circuit, I needed to see it rotate. There is a significant inertia with the mild steel rotor, for a small turbine to overcome at 0 RPM. Due to the low torque at startup with Tesla turbines, I will energize the field coils once the turbine is at an operational RPM. For a small Tesla turbine there doesn't appear to be any off-the-shelf alternator or dynamos that I could use. A car alternator would be good except they aren't available small enough for me and they won't be able to handle the RPM without a reducing gearbox. I'm expecting ultimately to go well above 18,000 RPM. Everything that I see that is small enough has permanent magnets. This would make getting a start from zero RPM very difficult without using some sort of clutch or fluid coupling. I suspect that this is the reason that I have seen people adding impellers to their Tesla turbines. This potentially lowers the efficiency once the turbine gets up to high RPM. Any permanent magnet dynamo hooked up directly to the shaft of a Tesla turbine that can self-start from zero RPM is probably below the power rating of the turbine and would not give a true power output for the turbine which is why I have gone for making a switching flux alternator. I had the part CNC'd for me by Zometry. The compressor pressure is set to 40 pounds per square inch. There is a slight leak to fix before the next test. Hopefully this will increase the RPM. Also, I'm going to reduce the nozzle size which now is 1.5 millimeters in diameter. This may also explain why the RPM is lower than expected. The RPM is approximately 8,700 with the alternator attached, but no load. Without the alternator attached the RPM was approximately 12,000. The holes in the alternator housing were to allow air cooling. But there may be a significant RPM, power loss due to turbulence, air resistance. The plan is to make covers for the holes and see if there is an improvement there. Since the housing is 3D printed in PLA plastic, I will add a temperature probe to monitor the temperature and try to avoid melting the housing. The test was successful enough for me to go ahead and start making the alternator power supply control circuits. Thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, you should smash the like button and subscribe to the channel.